Hi, everybody. I am uh, with you tonight from California, just having a little glass of wine. No, seriously, we're gonna paint with this. So cheers to a new avenue of using your watercolor techniques with wine. And I will tell you that if you're interested after a few minutes that I'm going to talk to you about it, please go online to boardpanda.com and there are some videos on YouTube as well that will give you more information on this unique way to paint using red, white, rosé, any color wine you would like. And believe me, it's not just florals, although that is what I plan to do. I'm going to show you a photo I took while at Philo Lee Gardens out here. Blacked out. Oh, sorry. There's dahlias here. And um, I, I thought at first I would just be doing a value study, but actually um, using a pen, so I'm gonna suggest you do this as well. I'm using these uh, calligraphy elegant writers and I've already pre-done some of this on my paper so I'm going to have the camera come down to my page and I will show you what happens. I'm going to keep talking about this because this is just plain old Cabernet that has had nothing done to it and I have drawn an outline with the elegant writer pen on here and I'm just kind of filling it in with the non-boiled Cabernet. I do have another uh, container of Cabernet that I boiled, which reduces the water content and makes it thicker. So let's do our next leaf up here uh, on top of my pre-done sketch because many layers and glazes of this will really give you very different outcomes. So I am not using water at all. I am strictly using wine and elegant writer to get this effect. Here we go. This is another leaf. I would like these two leaves to look different. So I'm gonna leave a little space in between leaf one and leaf two and see how that turns out. But I do like the fact that the elegant writer puts a little bit of green outside the black and it does look like a leaf to me. Um, let's go on top of my already done uh, boiled down Merlot and get it a little bit deeper. As you can see, there's quite a few endless possibilities. But um, on Sanja Jankovic's work, uh, he has copied some of the masters. He has done portraits, uh, beautiful landscapes. So I encourage you not to just look at what I'm doing here, but to try something of your own if this appeals to you. And I'm gonna just leave you with this thought, and that is don't stick your paintbrush in your wine. Thank you, happy painting.